Hi folks, uh, yeah, it's me. You recognize the voice. So, uh, decided to go take a drive today. And of course, this is Joe Weinberg from Bird Center Park. Decided to take a drive along the uh, Delaware shore. And uh, I've already hit on um, Reed's Beach. And now I'm up at uh, East Point Lighthouse. And um, this is a very fairly short or, or low lying lighthouse. But uh, I can tell you, you do see it. I don't know if the light's working, but you do see the, the lighthouse from, say, uh, 15, 20 miles offshore, because I've seen it when I was open party fishing on the Miss Fortescue. Uh, with, uh, with Captain Jim. So, uh, this lighthouse actually is, I think it's got some uh, aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing lines. First of all, it's smallish, which is always a good thing. And uh, sitting in the back of a, a short dune or a low lying dune with Phragmite on the back. And, uh, Got a little porch here. I don't think it's open, but it does have some opening hours. If you can see, if you can come in and take a little tour, probably. I don't know if I've ever done that. I know I've been up here more than once. So I think I'll go walk in here. See what I could see. <clears throat> so in the <clears throat> past recent history they've installed these these barriers that are meant to keep the uh, the sea at bay and try the best they can to prevent further erosion now I'm not sure if just around that bend they have a Maurice River dumps out here. I'm not sure, but maybe if we walk up, we'll look. But I can tell you this, that uh, this lighthouse is probably, well, it's along the eastern shore of the Delaware Bay. No doubt about that. Over there, on the other side of the bay, you're probably going to find Delaware and um, it's possible you'll find some very southerly reaching Pennsylvania shores. Interesting, there's not, not a lot of boat traffic out there. Usually on the other side, it's a major commercial merchant shipping channel and you see a lot of ships going up. Maybe we're too far east to see that. But, um, Somewhere in the, uh, the southerly direction. Now we're east, so that's west. The south is down that a ways, and north is up that a way. And somewhere down there, probably around 30 miles, Delaware Bay will end, and the uh, the Atlantic Ocean will meet up with it. And that's that's at Cape May. And um, 
Cape May, uh, the community down there is known as Cape May Point. It's a good name for it. And across from that, maybe a little further up the bay, you can cross into Delaware. It's Lewis, Delaware, and that's where the ferry goes over. From uh, down there ways where the canal cuts across, that's the Cape May Canal. So it cuts across to Lewis. Now the ferry is up in a little uh, end point of the Cape May Canal. So hopefully that gives you an idea of where I'm standing. Somewhere about 30 miles above Cape May City, borough. And uh, there's a lovely shot of the lighthouse. It's probably some information on a sign. Maybe it'll tell us when it was built. But uh, to me, it's looking like it was built early 19th century. That's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> Very nice. Very nice. There's probably other uh, videos up on YouTube showing this place. I would imagine other people have done exactly what I'm doing. So I'm looking at something that looks like it might be a plaque with some information on it. I'm trying to walk over there. Let's see what it says. East Point Lighthouse, listed on the New Jersey and National Register of Historical Places in 1995. Funding has been made possible in part by the Garden State Historic Preservation Trust administered by the New Jersey Historic Trust, State of New Jersey. And this place was originally called the Morris River Lighthouse. East Point Lighthouse became operational in 1849. It is the second <clears throat> oldest lighthouse in New Jersey and is the only land-based lighthouse remaining in Cumberland County. So the reason why they got to say land base is because out there in, in the bay, there's a string of lighthouses, probably for the most part, 10 miles offshore, built on piles of stone and other structure. And um, they, are a, um, they are a place where people like to go uh, get out close to them fish around them, look at them. I'm pretty sure they said uh, people offer moonlight cruises to the, uh, maybe not moonlight, but sunset, cruises to those offshore uh, lighthouses. And they're quite remarkable, really, quite remarkable. You could go to Fortescue and catch a boat ride out there you could either <clears throat> mix that up with a open party fishing trip, or some of them may now be offering the uh, sunset cruises out to the offshore lighthouses without fishing. But it's to check it out, it's the thing to do. And if you don't know too much about Fortescue, well, that's a shame because it's really a wonderful place. Wonderful. Uh, so uh, this looks like a little cottage, maybe for the groundskeepers. Who knows? This says it's closed. This area. I'm gonna take a seat. Been walking a lot today, and I'm an old guy. You know, I'm no young whippersnapper. This is beautiful, by the way, it's a beautiful day. Uh, late October, probably, 
like the 27th or the 28th. And uh, it's just got a, it's like an eight mile an hour breeze coming off the bay. It's just wonderful. So there's a little other view of the, of the lighthouse. Maybe I can get the lighthouse with my mug in it. Let's see what I can do here. This is the sun, obviously I can't tell what's going on, but I'm going to put it so that uh, it's just taking whatever it takes. It's not the selfie thing. Let's see, it's taking, what it's taking, well it looks like it's just taking straight on photographs, which uh, kind of surprises me can't flip the mode, I guess, when you're already shooting. Well, folks, uh, that's East Point Lighthouse. And um, you can stroll along the beach there a little bit. Be careful. And uh, it's a long ride in from Route 47. I'm going to shut this down now. Hope, hope you enjoyed it. 